Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, many population studies show that higher intake of cruciferous vegetables is strongly tied to a reduced risk of some very important cancers, including breast and prostate cancer. Now, cruciferous vegetables include broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, bok choy, kale, turnips, collard greens, kohlrabi, horseradish, landcress, rapini, watercress, mustard seeds, radish, wasabi, and a few others. So there's no excuse for not getting these into your diet. This family of vegetables contain a unique phytonutrient known as the indole-3-carbonyl, which shows impressive anti-cancer properties in many experimental studies. Now, cruciferous vegetables also contain another unique compound called sulforaphane, which also shows important uh, health benefits. So I would encourage you to try to consume one or more cruciferous vegetables every day if possible. Now in October of 2021, the journal Frontiers of Nutrition published a comprehensive review, review of the anti-cancer research related to the administration of indole-3 carbonyl. Of course, it's derived from the it's derived from cruciferous vegetables. So they take the indole-3 carbonyl from cruciferous vegetables and they apply it in research studies because they see it has anti-cancer properties. As they explain, cruciferous vegetables contain glucobrassicin that, that gets converted into indole-3 carbonyl, and then the indole-3 carbonyl, much of it gets converted into what's known as DIM, D-I-M. Now both the indole-3 carbonyl and its, its um, metabolic pro product DIM show impressive anti-cancer properties in a variety of experimental and animal research studies. Now, with respect to human clinical trials, it gets very interesting. So when we look at breast cancer, the administration of indole-3 carbonyl supplementation to women is shown to convert more estrogen into the safer form of estrogen, known as the 2-hydroxyestrone, helping to reduce the synthesis of the more dangerous and cancer-promoting form of estrone, which is known as the 16-hydroxyestrone, which is tied to a higher risk of breast cancer and uterine cancer. As the researchers state, and I quote, the ratio of 2-hydroxy to 16-hydroxyestrone has become a biomarker for risk of estrogen-dependent cancer and cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, the precancerous condition of the cervix, known as CIN, Int uh, cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, which can easily progress to become full-blown cervical cancer. Now, supplementation with both indole-3 carbonyl uh, and, and DIM uh, in these human studies has shown some very impressive uh, results. So the supplementation with both indole-3 carbonyl and DIM has been shown to increase the 2 to 16 hydroxyesterone ratio and it has improved outcomes for women that already have cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. They have this precancerous condition of the cervix. When they're given indole-3 carbonyl or DIM, it helps to improve the overall outcome of the condition. That's very impressive. As well, supplementation with indole-3 carbonyl or DIM using pretty high doses in these studies has been shown to be completely safe. Now, many experimental studies have shown that indole-3 carbonyl also inhibits key pathways in the development of prostate cancer. And human studies show a significant slowing of prostate cancer progression when men with existing prostate cancer are provided with a DIM supplement. Of course, that DIM is derived from the indole-3 carbonyl. These men also showed a decrease in, in testosterone or androgen receptors, including on the nucleus of the cell. What does that mean? It means that that effect, by reducing the number of testosterone or androgen receptors, prevents testosterone from stimulating those prostate cancer cells from growing and multiplying. It helps to contain the cancer. Once again, high dose supplementation in the range of 200 to 400 milligrams a day did not produce any adverse health effects, making it a very safe supplement to take. In their concluding remarks, the researchers point out that to match the indole-3 carbonyl intake used in these preclinical and clinical studies, it's not possible to acquire sufficient indole-3 carbonyl or DIM from simply eating cruciferous vegetables. Rather, supplementation also becomes very important. You have to, you have to supplement with pure indole-3 carbonyl and or DIM. It's the only way to match these intake levels. Certainly, eating cruciferous vegetables on a regular basis is very helpful for basic prevention, but in my view, once you're over the age of 50 years of age, when cancer rates escalate at an alarming rate, 
I would suggest that you do what I do, and that is I try to consume one or more cruciferous vegetables a day, and I take a supplement each day that contains an additional 30 to 60 milligrams of indole 3 carbonyl. The supplement I take also contains astragalus, reishi mushroom extract, and milk thistle, because this combination of nutrients helps to support immune function, which is also very important in cancer prevention. And these nutrients also have properties that are shown to block steps in the, develop the, in the development of many different types of cancer. So I've included the reference for the indole 3 carbonyl and DIM in the text below. It's incredible research. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.